everyone. We are here to do a collective message. So I've already recorded one of these and it was fine, mostly, but um, I am going to be shuffling the cards and pulling from the top as opposed to shuffling out because it's just too loud <laughs> to shuffle these cards like that in this space I'm in right now. So I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> just want to let you know if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, a collective message, not for any sign in particular. Only take it if it resonates, okay? water sign doing some sort of communication let's, see here. let's do a Celtic cross part of your reading strength Leo energy fortitude crossing your reading the nine of wands how much longer can this go on? <laughs> Crowning your reading, Ace of Wands, you'd like it to be over with. Grounding your reading, the Knight of Pentacles. What do I need to do? What steps do I need to take to finish up whatever cycle this is that is so particularly difficult? Recent past, the Empress. Near future, Five of Pentacles. Your energy, the Ten of Swords. Outside influence, the Four of Swords. Hopes and fears, the Knight of Wands. Outcome, the King of Wands. This feels like a battle in which there's a lot that is stacked against you. Three of Pentacles on the back of the deck. This definitely could have to do with work. It could have to do with your finances how you are earning your living. I feel like in the, in the past, there was something in which you found growth, you found a sense of success, a sense of, I'm finally onto something here, I finally achieved something here, I've come to a particular milestone. But for all of this trying and for all of this like, holding this heavy load on your back, feeling weighed down. In the near future, we have you here in a state of change, right? Which is ultimately what the fives are about. But in this case, this has to do with feeling a sense of poverty, like you don't have enough, or perhaps your health is suffering in some way, or you've been abandoned by somebody who is supposed to help you. And indeed, I do see that your influence here is the Ten of Swords. So there is an ending to something. Or you are being the one who has to... It's like it kind of falls on your shoulders to make the final sort of cut here. Meanwhile, there's somebody in the environment who is just kind of taking a snooze, maybe not pulling their weight. Hopes and fears, much like your crowning energy, Knight of Wands, we want action, we want a spark, we want to move things forward. And somehow or another, it looks like they are moving forward because King of Wands is in the outcome. So after all, you do prevail in this situation. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to dry this so I'm not setting my card down on a wet counter. Classy. All right, so <clears throat> let's clarify. Heavy 
Leo in your reading here. I'm also seeing Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, perhaps. The only thing that's missing are cups, emotions. Some, yeah. Maybe it feels like there are no time or, you know, like you don't have time to worry about your emotions. You just kind of have to do the thing, right? One more shuffle. Strength card. Two of Swords, the Mother Star, the Three of Cups. There is this sense here with the strength in these cards that this revolves around some sort of social situation perhaps a reunion with somebody. Um, asking ourselves, is this actually going to be worth it when it comes to this particular connection, this particular friend group? And it looks like for now, you're kind of hoping to stick things out in whatever that situation is. Tell us about the Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, the Tower, the Six of Swords, yeah, so this situation here with the Nine of Wands, this is a situation in which you've been doing this for a long time. It's very heavy, it's cumbersome. You may have found out that somebody here was being dishonest, um, causing like the whole thing to sort of crumble. The whole thing that you had held out for, the whole thing that you've been working on to just collapse and now we do see you here in spite of what you have endured trying to detach from it okay crowning your reading the moon the ten of wands and the ace of swords clarifying the ace of wands feels like you don't see any end in sight. It feels like you want this new beginning, this new lightness, right? To have your, your, like a feeling that your spark has returned, but there's so much that it feels like you just can't see here. And everything is still weighing on you in spite of what you may have moved away from, in spite of what you may have lost. It's like, Maybe you risked a lot and you lost a lot and no, you're not having to do deal with the day in, day out. I'm getting like routines of whatever that, that heavy situation is, but it's like now you have a new problem and you're looking for the answer, you're looking for the spark. And it definitely does not feel fair. It feels like somebody here did something shady to you. Okay. So, tell us about the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Death card, the Four of Swords. This feels like something... I just feel like there's been so much effort on your part and so little that you've gotten back. I mean, it just feels like everywhere you go, you're running into a brick wall. Everywhere you go, it's like the rug keeps getting pulled out from under your feet. You're just trying to like catch a break. You're trying to heal. This could definitely have something to do with um, like a family situation or something you felt was going to be long term but now it's like, it's just like over and you have to pick up the pieces and you have to heal, you have to recover from this. It feels like a very slow process. The Empress for the recent past, judgment, five of cups, justice, wow.
so maybe this is a person that you saw as an empress or or you are just disappointed in the idea whoever you are I just want to give you a hug right now <laughs> It's like you had some sort of an idea about something that would grow, but it's like disappointment, judgment, five of cups, justice. There is the sense here that you are seeing things as they are when it comes to that person or the situation. You're like really just trying to wrap your head around the loss that you endured here, wanting for things to rebalance, but I just feel like you've been hit by a tsunami. Or, yeah, maybe there has been some sort of natural disaster. I i don't know, but it's like, it's like, it just feels like everything that you've built has just collapsed out from underneath of you. Five of Pentacles, near future. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, what's under that? Ten of Pentacles? <laughs> I feel like I'm like pre-opening the advent calendar by the way looking. It's like eating the chocolate. Anyway, I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, let me adjust myself here. Three eights? Eights are cards of commitment. It's like, it's like you have accepted, you're coming to this point of acceptance. You're like, I'm not at the 10 of pentacles. Right? I kind of have to build myself back up again, right? But eight, commitment, empire building. It's like, even though I have to start over, I am alone in charge of making that decision and committing to mastery, committing to moving forward, committing to emotionally detaching from what was just not working back there, okay? <laughs> like... Yeah, you are, I feel like this is like moment of truth. You're like, I am where I am. All I can do is move forward and I really see you fully committing to that. Okay, 10 of swords for your energy. 10 of pentacles, yeah. <laughs> 10 of swords, the magician. Wow, this is powerful. This is really powerful. Because we have the Ten of Swords clarifying the Ten of Swords. It's like, it's you. If you're dealing with somebody that's wishy-washy, that is like, keeps coming in and out of your life or making trouble for you, it's like, at this point, you have no problem with being like, bye. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Boy, bye. Whoever, however. Um, it doesn't matter who they are to you. They Somebody here did you wrong and... I feel like you manifest forward with full knowledge that something really bad has happened here. But it's not stopping you. Four of Swords for the other person. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. There's somebody here who is not doing or saying a whole lot at the moment. But it's like they want to have a new beginning. They want to grow something and they are actually quite concerned with the Nine of Swords here about making something manifest. Whether they're showing it or not, they are. I also get that you could be dealing with somebody that wants you to feel that way through their own inaction. They would like it if you would feel the sense of anxiety and angst. Like you need to make it right. Maybe they think you're more invested than you actually are. Knight of Wands in Hopes and Fears. Five of Wands, the Devil, and the Strength card. Well, somebody hopes that you are maybe still obsessed with them, 
They still, they hope that you're um, going to fight for them. They're also conversely afraid that you're only fighting for yourself now, <laughs> that you're really and truly done with them. I feel that you're kind of like sticking to the choice that you've made to keep things ended with this person. King of Wands and the outcome, the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Wands, the Four of Cups. Things are changing here for you for the better, for sure. There is a crossroads here and Four of Cups tells me that you will have the luxury of, um, you will have like kind of like the time to um, consider. You won't have to be rushed into anything, but it's like you're fully in control going forward. I feel like the most difficult part of this is behind you, if that makes sense. So that is what I have. I hope that helped. I will see you next time.